What's going on, everybody? Josh Engelman here for Stochastic.com, back with the process for Tuesday, June 21st. So you guys got to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Follow me on Twitter at Josh Engelman, which you see right here underneath my name. I don't even know. I'm not probably not even pointing in the right direction. No, here. No, there. There. Got it. Perfect. Uh, new laptop edition, too, by the way. Uh, so, wife, if you're watching this, uh, spoiler alert, snuck into the Apple store yesterday. Uh, if you're not watching this, then uh, I won't tell you yet. Smiles. Anyway, uh, good day in the baseball streets yesterday. Ooh, before we get to that, whew, totally forgot. Opposite corner. Whoop, that way. That way. That way. That way. Got it. All the way up in the opposite corner of where I am right now, you will see a banner for Prize Fix, the presenting sponsor of this video and of the entire process series, which I couldn't be happier about. If you use the promo code AWESEMO, A-W-E-S-E-M-O, when you sign up at Prize Picks, you'll get a 100% instant match deposit bonus of up to $100. If you put in 50 bucks, Prize Picks will give you 50. If you put in 100, they will give you 100. If you put in 200, they will only give you 100 because it's capped at 100. So take advantage of that offer. We've got the free prize picks player prop tool at stochastic.com that will help you out a ton. Uh, you don't have to worry about like sharks or optimizers. You're building parlay cards, but there's no juice on either side. You can get up to 10x your entry fee if you hit a five person parlay. They've got crazy sports on there too. You can get into highlight if you want. You can mix and match sports if you need. But if you see props out in the world, and there's big time juice on a particular side, you're getting that at quote unquote, even money at prize picks. Ends up turning into a very plus EV opportunity for you. Take advantage when you can. So I've got the contest up for today, which we're going to take a look at in a little bit. But before we do that, before we do that, I wanna take a look at yesterday's results because they were good. Um, let's start here. So we, we put 150 entries into the micro mini max this was a penny per entry to get into the top one percent here you needed to be in basically the top 238 and uh we had some success if we look at this again if you guys remember from last week this is a no forced stack setup but we put four lineups into the top 150 we got one into the top 20. Now, this is going to be basically the easiest 150 contest you could enter. But to get to 182.65, that still plays pretty well in all the other mini maxes and things like that. It's still a really good lineup no matter what. When you can beat, what is it? What did I say it was? Yeah, like 24,000 people, really, no matter how strong the field is, it's still really, really difficult to get to the top 1%, no matter what the stakes are. You're going to beat it more frequently, but like, High scores are still high scores. And this one got all the way to 19th. So that that returned 25 times your investment. It's a penny to get in with this lineup. It brought back 25 cents. Now, I don't care at all about the aggregate winnings here. What I was worried about is where the lineups ranked and they ranked out pretty well. Like, did we end up with any stacks here? So we got Casey Casey. So we ended up with a three team or a three person Kansas City stack, two Bostons, three Pittsburgh. So like we stacked anyway, but it wasn't forced. And I find that to be interesting. Also, shout out to a bunch of other people. We got Emac got to 10th. I uh, We got Emac got to 20th. I know there's an E Lindy in here around here somewhere, or at least I saw it pretty late. Emac, Emac again. Where did Linquist lineup end up? There it is. Two, two for E Lindy right here. So Lots of uh, stochastic people near the top, but we pumped four lineups into the top 1% here. Awesome. We got to 137th in the base hit, which is a single entry contest. Very happy there. Oddly enough, multiple people chopped with 151.45. And like, obviously these people did not have my lineup because I went fully unstacked for it, but this ended up paying out quite well. You know, we got to... You know, top 1% had to be like in the top 20. We weren't close to that, but we were still in a top like 5 to 8%. We're going to look at it in Roto Tracker in a second. So success there in the single entry. And then the micro moonshot, which was the 20 max, where we needed to 
get into the top basically 200 it's 199 here to get into the top one percent doesn't matter at all there are some duplication but we put two lineups into the top one percent of the micro moonshot again very successful this was a 20 max at i believe three dollar entry point so that's 60 to get in we walked out with 89 so profitable mlb day yesterday what i did here on roto tracker which you guys should be able to see right now on the screen um i sorted this just just down to that 150 max because uh, some of those lineups are going to be duplicated so i just wanted to show we put 16 lineups into the top five percent which is a just really really solid we put another 17 lineups into that five to ten percent bucket so if you just want to look at it in buckets of ten percent we had 33 of our 150 lineups into the top 10 percent we should really be expecting that to be like 17 so we doubled the top loaded up here sort of in this weird area but we really trailed off nothing too 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 awful honestly like we basically ignored totally worthless lineups and jammed them all into the top 10 percent if we want to look at it to, to see the real breakdown at the top we put six lineups into the top one percent of this contest and just absolutely fantastic day i don't really think that we could be much happier here if i just take the max filter off you guys can see this is what we ended up with. We had 175 total entries yesterday, up 33.39. Very quality day, in my opinion. I It's very hard for me to be mad about the results that we got yesterday. We sort of hit the mark on the dot. For some reason, well, I guess not for some reason. This is, this is just how every single tournament broke out. We did not do well in the hot corner. Uh, we did not do well in the chin music, but... Great performance in the micro mini max, great performance in the base hit, excellent performance in the micro moonshot. And then you can see quickly, here are all the one percenters that we had. Just perfect. We, it was really hard to ask for much more here. Nailed it yesterday. Absolutely nailed it. There's our two micro moonshots. So these are the lineups that got, um, like this lineup is also one of these, like you can see it, 177.3. This lineup is also this lineup. And then this lineup is also this lineup. So I'm very happy with the way that this shook out. So normally I would probably play like 175 uniques, but since we were only in a penny contest, I wanted my top 25 lineups to just sort of be everywhere. So that's why we ended up here. If I would have had this 182.65 lineup, get into that micro moonshot what did we say what, what did i just say it was 182.65 where would we have finished in the micro moonshot 182.65 so i would have taken 44th if that one would have happened to get into the micro moonshot which would have been 60 bucks just right away we would have covered the entire entry fee it happens it happens no complaints I wish I could see the logos on here because I know that there were a lot of um, a lot of our a lot of stochastic slash awesome logos showing up here. But ultimately, we were up. Yesterday was a very successful MLB day. We're going right back to it again today, and that's what we have here. So we know the relay throw is the is the big contest. Um, it is the exact same payout structure that we had yesterday. We have the knuckleball, which is basically the same payout structure every day. That's the $5 buy-in that's going to box out the pros. You know, I don't have 500, well, I mean, I have $535 to get into this each day, uh, but that is not the point of what we're doing here. Batter's eye, standard issue contest. What we want to talk about today are two things, the micro four-seamer and the mighty micro mini-max. So let's do that right now. Micro four-seamer is clearly the alternative to what is normally the four-seamer. It is a 50K prize pool, which is fine. So we didn't have the four-seamer yesterday. On the 17th, we had the four-seamer 35K prize pool. On the 14th, let's make that bigger so you guys can see it. Otherwise, this is useless. On the 14th, we had the four-seamer 60K prize pool, 39, basically 39 times your buy-in. On the 9th, we had the four-seamer. 30K prize pool, 37 times your buy-in. So as I look at the 21st, if, as I look at today's, 
the micro four seamer 50k prize pool 36.6 times your buy-in i don't really know why they're naming it differently it's like the same contest that it always is so i don't like it's good like, don't get me wrong it's the first like we're certain we're certainly getting in it um but like i don't know why what's the point why why like it, this is just branding to me they, they didn't boost the prize pool in any discernible way i don't think they really changed anything about this contest other than the fact that they put the word micro on it so i don't know what i'm missing maybe i'm missing something i don't think that i am but is it a good contest absolutely if you have a hundred dollars or less if you the most you have is 80 this is the contest that you should be entering i don't really know why they're branding it differently not too much else to say here about the power alley that's you know 44 dollars to get in if you have it go for it we don't normally talk about the solo shot but dollar buy-in it's a one dollar 20 max 10k prize pool great payout structure honestly like you're not gonna have any any studs in it the entry portion is very very minimal you get 36 times your buy-in for your average one percent entry if you've only got 20 bucks and like today's feeling like a day where we're gonna play 40 lineups the micro four seamer and the solo shot hit 100 on the dot I love these two contests. So I think that works out really well. The other uh, special contest that we have for today is the Mighty Micro Mini Max. Love the alliteration, DraftKings. Really creative. Um, $2.22 to get in, 150 max. So it's going to cost you $333 to max it. It's a 100K prize pool, 10K up top. Honestly, the pay structure is not all that bad. It's not the best in the world. If we look at yesterday's micro mini max, that was a dollar, you got 29.7 times your entry fee. If we look at just like your standard issue mini max for a dollar, 28 times your entry fee. So this is a spot where you get to 32X where it's significantly better than it normally is. I would I, I would know like if this were not part of this series and in the grand scheme of things I should probably just jam it in anyway since it's not a daily contest like this doesn't exist every single day I should try to hit outliers that I think pay out well just because like I, I don't need to fully restrict everything that I do just for this series I should be able to still jam it away but anyway that's neither here nor there it's a good contest if you've got $333 it, you know if you've if you want to take a shot at a 150 max today, I don't think this is crazy. There there are going to be way worse payout structures. You know, 10K up top is no joke. Um, and the rest of the one percenters not so bad either. So if you have the ability to get into it, I don't think it's it's a bad idea. The rest of these entries are standard issue, like your mini max for 50 cents is worse than the micro mini max. You're obviously risking less, but I don't I don't have too much else to say about baseball. The, the key highlights were going to be the micro four seamer and the mighty micro mini max. And I don't like, I don't know why I should care about some of this stuff. Like they don't need to call this the micro four seamer. Just call it the four seamer. You didn't do anything different. Now that said, we are going to play it and we are going to play the solo shot. And that's going to give us our hundred dollars for today. 36 and a half times our buy-in on average weighted by the entry fees. I wish there was another contest that I thought was worth getting in. Like if there was a, bi a bigger single entry in, or like, you know, the home plate 60 bucks. So I'm way higher then. This is where we're going to be. 40 lineups for tonight. We'll reevaluate tomorrow. Let's go ahead and get in those contests. I don't. It, how do I get back to that? That That's not the way. I don't know how to do anything on a Mac. It's really crazy. All right, let's get into this. So we're going to get in the micro four seamer. Uh, no strategy show for me today. I am on the deeper dive. I, I think it's with Adam, but if I'm being perfectly honest, I don't know. I didn't pay attention to the schedule. I just show up and do my job, guys. That's all. All right, so we'll put our placeholder in. Bingo. Done. Let's enter this. So there's going to be $80 going in to the four-seamer here. Boom, 19 more. And then the solo shot 
for 20 entries. $96 plus the four we already put in gives us 100 on the dot. Tomorrow, we are going to take a look at probably two different things. Baseball contests and the golf contest. We've got the Travelers coming up. I'm just going to pull it up right now to see if there's anything obvious that we're going to want to get into. Let's cut everything down to 100. The $1 million pitch and putt is going to be the biggie here. 20 bucks to get in, 250k at the top, 58,000 entries. That's a that's a scary one. But though we've got the micro drive to the green, which is a 150 max at $5. I assume a great contest, but we shall see. We've got the micro birdie. We got in the birdie last week. That's going to be Three bucks or so 60 bucks to max it, 31,000 entries, 7,500 up top. I hope that pays out well. That looks like it's going to be a contest we're going to want to get into. We've got the micro mini max, which is going to be 75. That's 100,000 entries. Very difficult contest to win. We got the micro short game, the $1 20 max. I'd be shocked if we're not getting in there. But lots to talk about yes or to, yeah, yesterday. Lots to talk about yesterday. That's not how this works. Lots to talk about tomorrow when it comes to golf and clearly we'll still take a look at baseball maybe early slate baseball or something that's where we're at guys another one in the books the process show is complete thank you guys for joining me for this one i hope everything looks okay and sounds okay because i just sort of kind of winging it here testing it out on the new computer so I'll see you guys tomorrow morning, same as usual on the process. I appreciate you guys checking this out. Please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, notification bell. If there's anything else you guys want me to look at, let me know in the comments section. But otherwise, peace.